Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Maja Nick here. And today I'm gonna be doing like an updated guide on my best setup for farming items slash diamonds. Now I had made a video, maybe it was like two weeks ago at this point. It was a guide on just how to farm items and what I thought the best setup was for doing so. But now experimenting with farming just a little bit more and learning more about the new tech world and how to farm it better i found that my method i showed you guys wasn't quite exactly right and i'm not entirely sure if this method is perfect but i think it's very good i've been earning millions tens of millions of diamonds overnight easily with it and that's just pure diamonds that's not including selling all the items that i'm going to be getting from this so i'm going to split this up into two sections the first one is going to be free to play players so i'm going to go over what enchants you should use and what you should expect to gain overnight and then i'm also going to go into the pay to win section afterwards and i'm going to go over also the enchant setup and what you should expect to earn overnight from being pay to win so starting off with the free free to play setup. So being free to play is going to earn you probably about half of what you would get from being pay to win just because you're going to have more enchant slots when you're pay to win and you're also going to be having the game pass that gives you better items at a much faster rate. So that's going to heavily affect how much you earn just from like the items alone, but from pure diamond farming itself, it's not going to really vary that much. Only the difference again is just the enchant setup that's going to be affecting it. But as long as you have the same team set up for huges like you have the exact same huges and the same amount of equips which it'll probably be a little bit less because there's a game pass for that you should expect to gain about half of what pay to win players get so i'm editing this video the day after i actually recorded this and i forgot to mention the amount of diamonds you get from being pay to win from this method and that comes out to around 60 to 70 million now i'm not selling every single item that i'm getting if i did it was probably a little bit more so if you're free to play it's going gonna look something like this now i already know i already know i'm gonna get comments saying oh but you have boss chest mimic on and chest mimic those are not free to play friendly you you have to buy those especially the boss chest mimic that's in the exclusive shop well actually if you didn't know because i had plenty of comments about this you didn't know you can buy these from the trading plaza yes you don't need to spend real money to get this wow <laughs> I know crazy isn't it it's crazy yeah and it's just for some reason people just don't understand that but this is free to play you can buy this from the trading plaza is it expensive yes is it hard to get yes but it is possible for free to play most definitely it's possible so this is what an ideal setup for a free to play player would look like now obviously this is gonna be pretty hard to get these two enchants so i'm gonna show you what it's what it would look like if you didn't have these enchants i would run something like this i would throw in an extra critical enchant and massive comment and if you don't even have massive comment if that's too expensive for you then you should run something like this there so i would put in an extra strong pets or or if you want to opt in for less damage and more rewards i would just throw in a third treasure hunter but don't do any more than that that would just be pretty excessive and honestly worthless because the effectiveness is just going to keep dropping significantly every single time now if your team is not that good with damage let's say you don't have that many huges or exclusives then you're going to want to opt for a more damage focused setup so obviously don't have extra treasure hunter on and throw in strong pets and yeah that's pretty much what it's going to look like for a free-to-play player who doesn't have a lot of money for those expensive enchants and then for potions this is going to be the same for whether you're free to play or pay to win you're going to obviously want to use the highest uh potions you can so that'll be your tier 9 potions and you're going to throw on your treasure hunter and your strength potions for tier 9 but for the diamonds potions it only goes up to tier six seven so you're just going to want to throw on tier seven diamond potions and you're going to also want to put on as many cocktails as you can but this is not required it, they help quite a bit but it's nothing serious if you don't have these and you also want to come down here to your speed three potions speed three is the highest tier for speed potions and you're just going to want to throw a bunch of those on as far as boosts i'm sure you guys could guess it's just going to be all the fruits that you guys have except for bananas because obviously bananas are not going to help you with farming 
farming diamonds and items. And then you're going to want to throw on as many toy bones as you can, toy balls and squeaky toys. Those are going to help a lot. So when it comes to putting stuff down in the area that you're actually breaking in, which should be the last area, you're going to want to use magnet flags. Now, this is contradicting to my original video where I think I said strength flags, but now the best flag to use is actually magnet flags. And the reason for this is because the area, this last area is so big that you can't collect all the items even with a maxed out magnet enchant, which I believe it's magnet three. Yeah, magnet three is the highest magnet enchant and that's not enough to be able to collect all the items and it does get pretty laggy overnight. So I now run magnet flags as my main flag of choice so I can actually collect all those items. And because of that, I don't have a slot taken up in my enchants by the magnet enchant. So I could run an extra diamonds or I could run an extra critical. So it helps in that sense. And also for the sprinklers, these are a new item or newish item that came out for this tech world update. And it increases the respawn rate of your breakables by 50% for five minutes. So that's pretty good, but it's not going to be that good for most of you because I doubt most people are breaking the last area so fast that your pets like are just waiting to break stuff. So as you can see, I have a full team of huges with one Titanic and I have some rainbows in there. I believe like a few shinies, maybe only one actually. Yeah, I only have one shiny huge, but I have a full team of huges, some golden, some rainbow, some shiny, and I still can't break the last area fast enough. So you're not going to want to use these really ever unless you have like the best setup ever, like all huges with shiny or shiny rainbow, but that's going to be like such a small percentage of you guys, maybe like less than 1%. It's usually not worth it for sprinklers. So I would just ignore that for the most part. Voice over Nick here. So I actually have a correction. I was basing this off of private servers. Now, if you're free to play, you're most likely not going to have access to a private server. So if you're in a public server and you're grinding with a bunch of people, everything's going to be getting broken really fast. So you're actually going to want to use these. So just pretty much ignore what I said here. And I think that's pretty much it as far as the setup goes. Now for pay to win players, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, except your enchant loadout is just going to be slightly different. So for your enchants, it should look something like this. I run two diamonds, two criticals, two treasure hunters, the boss chest mimic, the chest mimic, and a massive comet. Now, if you don't have, again, the really expensive enchants, then you could just throw in something else and I'll show you what that would be. So I would go for strong pets just to help break stuff faster. And I would also go for another treasure hunter. And if you don't have massive comet as well, then I would actually throw in a fortune. So the reason Reason why I'm saying fortune and not another diamonds is because again, like I've said previously, anything after three enchants of the same thing, like treasure hunter or criticals, or I think it's anything after two or more, the effectiveness just keeps dropping so much that it'll be worth it to use something like fortune because it is a guaranteed 40% increase versus the diamonds enchant. It might only be like 30 or 35%. We don't know the exact value, but it's going to be a lot less and it's probably going to be less than 40%. So I would opt in for that. Or if you have a specific build you have in mind, you can just swap it out with whatever enchant you want. So now that we have that out of the way, in terms of ultimates, I think the easiest ultimate to get for farming would be Pet Surge. You literally just get it from farming the last area. You don't have to worry about buying it from the trading plaza. And this is really good. It supercharges your pets so that they deal damage at supersonic speeds. Considering how easy it is to get, I think it's very much worth it. And the ability is actually actually pretty solid. Like when you use it, your pets go a lot faster and they just deal out damage a lot faster. But if you have access to some of the better ultimates like chest spell, tornado, or black hole, then obviously use those. Ideally, you'd want to use chest spell though, because its ability is to summon mini chests to replace nearby breakables. And that's going to give you a lot of items, a lot. So ideally use this. If you don't have it, then use pet surge or just whatever else you have. And that's pretty much all I have for the guide. It's really not that hard. It's not that complicated at all. You just have to have the right setup in order to make a lot of diamonds and items. And it's just better overall to farm for items rather than it is for pure diamonds because the items that you get from item farming, you're gonna be able to sell those for quite a lot of money. And it's gonna add up a lot faster than it would just farming for pure diamonds in the last area. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.